So the hive just got an update and a big thing with this update is a brand new hub. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the hidden features with this new hub and things that you might not know that are pretty cool. <laughs> So first up is something that a lot of people know by now, and it's the fact that leaves actually fall from the trees in the hub. Red leaves fall from the red tree, and orangey yellow leaves fall from the orangey yellow tree. I feel like this feature really shows that the hive do care about the appearance of the hub, especially in the little details, like tiny leaves animated falling from the trees. So the Autumn Hub is one of those hubs that really isn't on the Hive for that long uh, because the Halloween Hub will be here in just a couple weeks. And one thing that I think kind of represents that is the pumpkins that are around this Autumn Hub. Uh, you can find them all over the place and they blend in really well considering the whole hub is... There's a lot of orange in it. It's a red, orange and yellow colour screen which they t we do make very evident. And they just look really cool. They look like they're growing them and they're growing them for the Halloween hub. So the hive sign is one of the most consistent, memorable and recognisable features of the hive hub. It's always been there, people have always wanted to get on top of it, moderators will be asked that every single day. And it doesn't change that much, but in this hive update, instead of having a purple mini games sign beneath it, it's actually red to go with the orange, yellow, red and a generally autumnal colour scheme. And I think it looks really good, it's reminiscent of when they completely changed the sign for the Sonic update and uh, instead of mini games I actually said Sonic but I think that red just gives it that little autumny feel. So every hub uh, the hive hide a hub title somewhere in the hub it's the Dora the Explorer hub title and you need to go find it so one of the secrets in this hub is the Dora the Explorer hub title and for this one it's in the ship at the dock the big ship in the middle of the dock you jump onto that and the hub title is right there for you to get if you don't already have it. So after the Sonic update, the Hive changed the location of the Questmaster, so he's now on this little deserted island a bit out of the spawn. However, the shack, where he used to reside, still has elements that represent that he was there. There's still like a little selling table inside, and if you go upstairs in there, his sleeping quarters, they're still basically the same. However, uh, the house is still there, you've still got all his stuff, it's got a nice thatch roof to now. It's, it's a bit autumny, it's more autumny and it looks really cool. Uh, compared to how it normally looks, even though the Questmaster sadly is no longer there. So the Hive really liked these signs recently, and sadly this does mean we lose the crab or beans with the change to the Survival Plus Forest Animals. However, we do get these really cool animated animals, some from the old, but then these new ones, like the Dancing Hedgehogs, which are really cool, and this bear, which you can tell is having a good nap with those Zs. So I'm sure you've seen the regular Minecraft berries before, they've been in the game for a while, but for this update we're staying in the forest, and the Hive have added Another type of berries, they're blue, so probably blueberries or something like that, and you can find them around this forest area, and they look really cool, and also when you stand in them, it gives you the same effect as a normal berry, you get pricked, which is really, really cool, and I commemorate the Hive team for doing that. More custom models that really do enhance the experience. So along with the cool new hub, we've actually got two new maps. We've got one on Star Wars, which is a really cool map, Star Wars Squads, it's called Harvest. It's quite well spaced out, I really like this design of it as well. And we've also got a reskin of a Treasure Wars Squads map, it's reskinned to Autumn. And this is very similar to the hub, and I really like it, it works very well uh, in this lighting too. So no matter what style the hub has been in, it's always had some secrets, and these secrets are still here for this autumn hub. So first off, you've got the door behind the throne that just cannot be opened for some reason. Nobody really knows why it's there, it just is. And also, you've got this house, kind of beside where the fountain was, that now has the big tree under the hive sign. First of all, the second house is just an entrance into the first one, and the room above the house you can still get into it, however, it's just empty. There's just nothing in it, and to be honest, it's kind of creepy. There's a tool for you from the balcony when you get in, but it it really is just eternal darkness. It's, it's dead weird. 
So for the final thing about the new Hive Hub, uh, it's something a bit odd, but um, the the parkour in the hub has always been made out of concrete, but there's actually wood in it this time, which I, I think is a bit weird, Hive. Hive, wouldn't you just use concrete like normal? Can you just use concrete like normal? No!